MXUX here, massive news in this hidden broadcast. Starting from 2023, we should be able to see these uh, factories up running. And uh, uh, in 2024, we will see like, quite significant amount of EV car made here. Hi, this is MXUX. There was a piece on the local news in Lordstown, Ohio, WKVN Channel 27. This was a spokesman from Foxconn, James Liu, who is in Lordstown shepherding around a group of uh, investors and media from Taiwan. So this was actually a piece that was produced for Taiwan. Uh, but he did do an interview uh, with the local media as well. Uh, Mr. Liu's English is fine. The audio is not great on the interview. I'm going to play the interview later in this video. But I just wanted to go over the key points. Uh, as I said, it's a bit muffled and hard to hear in spots. I've gone over it at different speeds and so forth and uh, enhanced it to get this media, uh, to get this summary. So, media event for investors in Taiwan, Taiwan market, show the progress of the Fox BEV pivot uh, at the North American hub for all activity. So, they were bringing people over to show them what is going on uh, at Lordstown, Ohio. Uh, and this is the keynotes from his interview at the plant. And again, this is James Liu. Uh, in 2023, we will be up and running building BVs. It seems to imply at full production. Uh, January, February for some of our customers, it implies more than one customer. One of those customers is going to be the Endurance. The second customer, we don't know, Fisker Pair, uh, Monarch Tractor, IDEV, uh, perhaps a Foxtron model. So it implies two, uh, two or more uh, BVs will be uh, in full production in January, February of 23. In 2024, he said there will be a significant amount of battery electric vehicle production here, meaning I'm sure the Fisker Pair is going to be in full production. So we're looking at uh, full production at full line speed in 2024. So in January and February, uh, Hightower had said by March of 2023, uh, Lou is saying January, February, um, it's going to be ramping up. So that's next year, start of next year. Uh, and he reiterated that Lordstown facility, the Lordstown facility is the hub for the North American strategy. It's very important. He stressed how important this hub was for the Fox goal of garnering 5% of world BEV market share in 2025. So that's, you know, three years, two years, they want 5% of world BEV market. So we're looking at some big production numbers. Fox has $2 billion in revenue now, he mentioned. And I think the implication was to fund this effort. And he mentioned that, again, the CDMS business strategy, contract design and manufacturing services, quickly build BEVs for customers. And my famous flow chart goes through this. Um, we're going to show that in a minute. So here's what he said. We have a few customers already. And we know they have Fisker, IDEV, Lordstown Motors, and Monarch Tractor. We are in discussions with more customers. With agreements, we can discuss more. Okay? So, he's laying out some breadcrumbs here. And he said, when we have the agreements, you know, they can reveal what's going on. So they're in discussions. In my previous video, I said uh, the VW Scout uh, is a likely customer. I believe they will get that contract. I have a 50% probability on that. 
mentions startups and traditional companies. So he mentions both startups and traditional companies. So he's implying that an OEM is also talking to them. Is that OEM VW on the Scout program when it's actually an independent company, but kind of a spinoff of an OEM? Is there another OEM talking to them? We don't know. But he specifically said startups and traditional companies. I see that as being ice manufacturers. Uh, so they got something that they, I believe, involves OEMs with agreements we can discuss more. I think this is the Scout, uh, VW Scout, but there may be more. Um, as we said, DJ Dan Niavaji, chairman of the board, mentioned the white label pickup truck manufacturing. That would be the um, rebadging of the Endurance under another brand name, for example, Dodge. Anyway, here is from a previous interview with WKV and Channel 27. And this is the, the Rick Raj, who is the VP of Business Development and Electric Business Initiatives at Foxconn in the United States, Rick Raj said up to 20 companies may be clients. So, um, the potential here is pretty breathtaking. This is, you know, as I said in that video, the mother of all breadcrumbs, I believe is the title. If you add uh, depending on how you count it, if you add the models that we already know are going to be there, this could be 25, at least 25 different battery electric vehicle models. And if you include all of the Foxtron models that have been stated that are going to be there, you know, that's another at least one, two, three. At least um, at least three more models. So what does that come to? A 20 of 20, 28 car models being built? Uh, so this is, you know, this is all happening. This is not vaporware. This is not speculation. People accuse me of speculation. This is, this is happening. People, these people have really said this. Okay, Lordstown is the hub uh, is the hub for Foxconn's next growth driver, B manufacturing in North America. So, and that's on twelve one twenty two. So, and and this uh, Rick Raj uh, made these comments about a month ago. So this is all this is this is new news, new information. Now I just want to go over here. This is another version of my famous flow chart. But I just want to show you that if you want to be part of this and you want to invest in a U.S. NASDAQ listed security uh, versus a, a Taiwanese listed security, and we know with the uh, geopolitical things going on in that part of the world, uh, uh, well, it would be, be dependent on what your investment preference is. But, of course, if you want a U.S. listed, and I believe uh, that Ride offers spectacular growth potential, uh, it is high risk, but potentially high return, uh, much more so than Honhai stock, which I believe is about 50 it's a more mature company. What they are doing is pivoting their business. So, I mean, they're going to get a bump in the stock price for sure. But with uh, Lordstown Motors, we're starting at a base um, to, to which, you know, the growth could be exponential. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. I've done videos on this. I'm on the record. But... I had mentioned that with full full um, dilution of the stock that's out that's been authorized, I I think you know forty two forty three dollars a share is not out of the question for 
Lordstown Motors, do not base your decisions on my information. That is my opinion only. I'm not a financial advisor, engineer, attorney, and that is my back of the napkin analysis. But I just want to go forward here. This is this is how this works. Okay, this is why they've mentioned numerous times Lordstown, Ohio. The Lordstown, Ohio plant is key to their strategy in this battery electric pivot and their 5% global market share goal and their North American goal, okay? And that plant was originally totally upgraded by Lordstown Motors. Enormous amounts of money have been spent. This is a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility, which Foxconn has taken over and undoubtedly has improved as well. Now, um, Lordstown Motors uh, sold this facility to Foxconn, and they had entered into a joint venture with uh, Foxconn as a result of that sale. Now, that joint venture, as of the last earnings call, has been dissolved. All of the financial, financial burdens and so forth of that have been wiped out. There is a new partnership. Now, the fat past of joint venture was 55-45, uh, 55% uh, Foxconn, 45% Lordstown. This is now a partnership. In my mind, that implies a 50-50 split. But what why this split is important is, this. I believe this is the basis they're going to split these revenues on that are going to come from manufacturing these 25 Let's add the scout in there, 26, 27, uh, or, or is it 28 or 30 BEV models? I know that's mind-boggling, but uh, believe me, if anyone can get this all straight, it's Hightower and his team doing the program management for all these vehicles, and Foxconn and MIH uh, providing the platforms and the supply lines and the assembly. I mean, this is the new way that cars, better electric vehicles, at least, at least in my mind, uh, uh, you know, at least the five percent market share that uh, Foxconn is going for is going to be built. Um, anyway, let's just go through this. This is how this works. There's a Motion and Harmony Electric Vehicle Development. I call it the MED. Okay. Foxconn is a 50 percent, I'm saying 50 percent partner, Lordstown Motors, this is ride stock, is a 50 percent partner. Now, and again, if you want to be part of this, you know, this ground baking, this explosion of production that's going to be pl take place in, uh, in 2024, and you want to l own a NASDAQ listed security of a U.S company that's ride that's lordstown motors is a 50 percent partner with foxconn in this effort lordstown motors is going to design the body and uh, and the interior and everything they're going to do all the engineering they're going to do the alpha beta and the ppv they're going to crash test they're going to certify they're going to homologate get the epa and the california air resources board certifications and they're going to do all the pro program manage of of all of these 30 let's call it 30 bev vehicles they're going to do all the program management so they're going to do all of this okay this is going to be ride this is going to be lordstown motors this is going to be their 50 percent of this effort they're going to hand this over and by the way under the new partnership agreement, Lordstown Motors is now in charge of the entire program. However, this is what the verbiage is. The So in other words, they've also taken over uh, running the assembly line, uh, planning the assembly, and so forth. Where Foxconn comes in is Foxconn is going to manage the supply line for these 30 different battery electric vehicles and get all that uh, all that bill of materials uh, stuff uh, on the line at the right time to build the right number of cars. They're also going to manage the assembly, and that means uh, supplying the people. And Rick Raj said, and you can look at my video from Rick Raj, mother of all breadcrumbs, they're going to build dormant, they're going to build 
high-end modern housing near this plant location, which is a really cool location. It's by Kent State University. It's by Youngstown State University. It's a stone's throw from Cleveland, Hall of Fame, uh, put in Bay. Uh, you know, there's a major airport with this in, within a reasonable drive, less than an hour drive from this location. Um, anyway, Foxconn is going to is also going to put a university extension on the plant grounds to train and upgrade the still skills of this staff. So they're going to handle the people. They're going to handle the supply line. Let me just talk one second about Foxconn doing the supply line. They aren't just going to source all these parts. Foxconn makes 90% of the component parts that go into iPhones. They're going to do the same thing with these cars. They are in a, in a joint venture now with Stellantis to develop supply lines for things like wiper motor assemblies and uh, steering wheel stock control columns and these types of things. Uh, by the time they go into production, they're going to be manufacturing. These are going to be Foxconn parts in a Foxconn supply line going to a Foxconn assembly plant. And they're going to be put together by Foxconn employees under the contract manufacturing CDMA, uh, whatever the CDMS uh, uh, model. That's that's how it's going to work. Foxconn is going to make uh, money on the back end here by not only getting the fees for doing the assembly, getting the fees for supplying the bill of materials, but they're also going to sell them all the parts. And they're going to make the fees per vehicle on uh, what they manufacture. So they're going to make their money on the back end. Lordstown is going to make their money on the front end, okay, by doing all of this. And I do believe the partnership implies they're going to split the revenue 50-50. And Foxconn just plunked down $170 million to have Lordstown Motors produce one BEV program for them. You know, you could multiply that by 30 to get a revenue idea here. Uh, but since they're 50-50 partners, I, I have not seen the partnership agreement yet. But there is going to be a, a revenue sharing here, certainly. And certainly, Lordstown Motors is going to. Now, everybody thinks Lordstown Motors' uh, survival uh, depends on the endurance, the sales of the endurance. Uh, and they are important, and the endurance is important, as will be the high-top van, which is the next vehicle, I'm sure, and the three-row SUV, which is the next vehicle after that. Under under this previous agreement, uh, Lordstown sold this endurance and these other products in North America, that is Canada, United States, and Mexico. And Foxconn had the dis distribution rights in the rest of the world paying Lordstown royalties for for those rights. Uh, so this is all D Dan Niavaji, I am sure, and Adam Kroll working out this complex web of interlocking agreements and revenue sharing. I'm just going to say it this way. These guys are going to make a ton of money. They're going to put out I mean, you can already see the quality of the endurance. Everybody's reviewing it. Nobody can find anything wrong with it. This is all happening, okay? Uh, this is not speculation. This is not uh, my idea. This is all based on research and facts. And, again, if you want to uh, be part of this and you want to own – uh, uh, a U.S., a NASDAQ-listed security uh, with the reporting requirements of NASDAQ and the transparency in the SEC. The only way you can do that and be in on this is to own RIDE, R-I-D-E, stock. Uh, you can also buy Hanhai or Foxconn stock. That is going to be on a Taiwanese exchange so this is mxux 
I'm just going to close and leave this chart up here. Uh, and, and this is their business model, and this is how it's going to work. And just be aware, when they talk about Foxconn in North America, that's half of the process. The other half of the process is Lordstown Motors. Although they may not be saying it, I guarantee you they, they are. This is the arrangement. All right, this is MXUX. I hope you liked the video. I'm going to now play this video at a reduced speed with some generated subtitles. Again, terrible audio. Uh, take a look at it for yourself. Okay, MXUX, thanks for the view. So we are quite excited uh, to see uh, uh, our operation here. BusinessJournalDaily.com Three. We acquired these factories about uh, the, the, uh, six months ago, and uh, uh, we already expected uh, in the next uh, two, one or two uh, months, we are going to start running uh, some of our customers' model here. I just want to reiterate that one to two months, December, January, February, customer products, BEVs rolling off the line. So I think this is uh, before the, uh, the factory really occupied, uh, we tried to officially introduce these uh, factories uh, to the, uh, our media and our investors and uh, make them comfortable and confident in our EV strategy. Last count today, we already have a revenue reaching more than 200 billion US dollars. EV definitely will be our next growth driver. So Lowsam here is our motor hub for our EV strategy in North America. Not only the North American hub, their only owned factory. So this is going to be very important to realize our goal to have 5% global shares in 2025. We're very happy to have uh, this uh, facility here because we already successfully attract a lot of startup companies and also the uh, traditional car OEM for the future cooperation here in Lausanne. Okay, I think you heard that, OEM, OEM. So uh, uh, starting from 2023, we should be able to see these uh, factories up running. And uh, uh, in 2024, we will see like, a quite significant amount of EV car made here. So we are quite excited uh, to see uh, uh, our operation here. I think uh, in EV sectors, we try to showcase our CDMS business model, which stands for contract design and the manufacturing service. So we can provide, including the car design, components, modules, assembly, and the softwares, these kinds of total solutions. So as long as our customers uh, accept our like a full service here, we can quickly build a car for them uh, from the, the lost time facility. We already have a few customers today and uh, we are in negotiation uh, with some uh, potential customers and hopefully uh, if we reach any uh, re agreement uh, we are able to disclose more in the future businessjournaldaily.com three minutes with is brought to you hope you guys like the video there's a lot of fud out there there's a lot of fud bots hodlers don't pay attention to negative comments here or on reddit good luck in the market thanks a lot for watching the video support me at the patreon link Appreciate the view and the comments.